Hey, it's here. What's here? Well, I don't know yet. Hi, I'm Mike Richardson from the Fredonia Group, and yes, I totally dress this way on weekends at home. <laughs> For 10 years or so, unboxing videos have become a very big deal on YouTube and elsewhere on the internet, and frankly, I don't get it. But what I do get is the excitement that's associated with driving home and seeing a big box on your porch. Even if you know what's in it, it's still a little bit exciting. But part of the fun is finding out exactly how it's packaged. So let's take a look. You know, the packaging's actually more than half the fun if, uh, if you know it's from the mail order pharmacy. And it's less than half the fun if it's from a used record store. Although they use bubble mailers most of the time. Is bubble mailers like bubble packaging? Well, right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're basically a, a poly bag uh, with the bubble material uh, on the inside to, to insulate. Let's see what else. Well, we have... Peanuts. Well, these really look more like, like cheese puffs, don't they? And uh, uh, these are known as loose fill materials that, uh, that are widely used and not widely liked, but they work really well and they're pretty cost effective. And they come in a bunch of different shapes and sizes, including these S-shaped ones that look like real peanuts. Let's see. Styrofoam. Well, Styrofoam is a brand of expanded polystyrene, and that's low-density polyethylene. But uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing to to, to lay people. And uh, this stuff gets a bad environmental rap, but it really uh, uh, does a great job of uh, of protecting products. It's often used with more expensive products, um, and uh, its effectiveness is why you see it as often as you do. But speaking of environment, you see paper fill uh, used an awful lot, um, partly because companies are aware that consumers are aware of uh, the environmental consequences of packaging materials, and these certainly have uh, a good reputation among consumers. Ooh, can we pop it? Well, we can, at least this kind. This is the uh, famed bubble packaging that's uh, widely used to secure all kinds of uh, all kinds of different products for shipment, and um, that's one variety of it. And then there's others, and this is a this is a, a different type that's uh, inflated when it's used, so um, so it can be shipped as flat film rather than shipping lots of bubbles, which is far less efficient. And we have air pillows, which are sort of the same idea, um, bigger, not as fun to pop. But uh, the good news is when they do pop, um, if you use an, a, the correct number of them, it'll still protect the product even with some of them deflated. I almost forgot. There actually is something in the box. And it's, it's the fourth edition of our Global Protective Packaging Study. If you're interested in this, or any of our other multitude of packaging studies, visit us on our website at fredoniagroup.com.